Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcleTechsHomePage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your Thursday morning forecast update. A lot of weather headed our way, especially through the first half of the day today uh, for the northern Arkletex, and then later today we'll see that kind of weather threat shift to the south. So a couple things going on this morning that you need to know about. We do have a tornado watch that's in effect uh, through 8 a.m. this morning. It's basically all of the I-30 corridor, so it's most of Arkansas, northeast Texas, as well as Oklahoma. So far, so good. We haven't had any warnings this morning, but we are seeing some of the rainfall totals really add up there as we're seeing some training of the thunderstorms, which means the storms are uh, basically passing over the same area since this cold front is uh, at the moment basically stalled out or just slowly moving to the south here. That's why we're seeing that rain add up. Probably have already seen several inches of rain uh, north of Interstate 30, so that's why we do have a flash flood watch. Basically the same areas under the tornado watch, and that will go until 4 p.m. this afternoon. It's completely possible we'll pick up uh, in excess of three inches of rain. And even if you're not in the watch in uh, the rest of Texas and Louisiana, definitely could see some heavy rain later today and uh, into the overnight hours. So you can see this cold front and just kind of that long band of thunderstorms that stretches all the way into South Texas. So really no escaping the rain today for anybody as we'll see uh, the potential for not only heavy rain, the uh, overall severe weather risk compared to the many of the outbreaks we've had over the past few months, the overall severe weather risk is actually pretty low for us today. The Storm Prediction Center has us in the marginal risk, so it's uh, not a threat of zero, but what this means is maybe one or two of these storms will be capable of severe weather hazards, and that would mainly be hail and high wind, but as we've seen this morning, uh, maybe can't rule out an isolated tornado as well. And not everybody in here will see severe weather. It just means anywhere on the map here, they're expecting maybe one to two severe storms today, uh, especially since some locations will warm back into the 80s, since this will be such a slow moving front. So let me put your Robinson to future cast into motion. Notice between now and about 3 p.m. this afternoon, uh, the rain basically stays across the northern half of the region, so that's why we do have that flash flood watch for uh, those locations. We get to about 3 o'clock, and the front will finally start to get kicked south a little bit here, uh, so we're expecting rain and storms will pick up uh, I-20 corridor at some point this afternoon or early this evening, so Shreveport for the afternoon commute will be dealing with a lot more rain than what we see this morning. And notice the uh, frontal boundary basically rung up here south of Interstate 20 as well. So I do think we could see some uh, pockets of rain, maybe in excess of two to three inches as well, south of Interstate 20. For your Friday, we've got two different weather patterns going on. It'll be sunny and comfortable for the northern Arkletex, but uh, we are going to see that front stalled out south of I-20. So we are going to keep that chance of rain uh, going south of I-20. If you're on I-20 tomorrow, uh, it's basically less than a 50% chance that you'll see some rain, but you should see some rain in the morning. But uh, notice by the afternoon, things really wind down. So improving weather conditions and lower humidity and lower temperatures for most of us on Friday. Uh, here's a look at the rainfall potential. That's on top of what has already fallen here. We could see an additional uh, two to three inches of rain anywhere you see the yellow uh, markings there. So that's north of I-30, and you can see the heavier rain setting up later today. Uh, south of Interstate 20, you get some of those darker yellows, and that could indicate uh, maybe totals in that three to four inch range as well. So uh, certainly, even though we're not under the flash flood watch in those locations, need to be on the lookout uh, for some flooded roadways a little bit later today, especially for the afternoon commute. Temperatures have fallen off where the rain is falling. We're in the mid-60s, the rest of us in the 70s, and a look at your highs today, which will uh, be in the 80s before the rain gets to Shreveport and maybe as high as 87 in Natchitoches. Uh, should have temperatures in the 70s where the rain and clouds will be for much of the day across the I-30 corridor. Uh, so for Friday, I mentioned that rain chance will be highest for East Texas and Louisiana. We do have some rain returning at some point on Saturday. It looks to be late in the day. Showers and storms are likely on Sunday, pushing 90 degrees on a dry Monday. And then next Tuesday, we have some showers and storms in the forecast as well. It looks like we could see uh, kind of a low-end threat for severe weather this weekend. And kind of watching next Tuesday, we have a setup more favorable for maybe a higher risk of uh, some severe storms as we move into early next week.